Cup. We're about three minutes away from a jump. Naval College, just getting out to $3.10. Third up this preparation for Annabelle Nation from Jet Stanley, $2.60 out to $3.10. Good money baby rider today into $3.70. Lunsi's with that same form at $5.50. Last in single figures, Touristic, who chased home Naval College there last start at $8.50. Naval College building into this preparation, Brad. Might be an okay type. Yeah, look, I just went with him simply from that progressive uh, factor. The fact that he, he got the PR last time, perfect run, and uh, put him away in convincing enough style. But look, obviously a stronger race here, but gets down in the weights and uh, he just third up where a lot of these are deeper into their preparations. I just thought he might have that bit more improvement. But <clears throat> I think Luntzies is probably the one in the market right now around that 550 that if you don't want to go with the favourite, I'd be sort of shifting you towards him. Um, He's running the Summer Cup, was terrific, beating Baby Rider there, who they, they seem to love here. Um, I thought Lunsi's was probably the better hope out of both of those. He's really well graded here, and I know he's got the 59 and a half and struggles to win, but this is a lovely race for him as well. Ten Riazan, I thought he was the, the one that I was a little bit surprised there wasn't support for. Wide no cover last time out, overall rating was strong, and um, Ken rolled forward here to drive it, offset that gate, and the nine, Touristic, um, gets back, hits the line hard. We'll be doing the, a similar thing here. 12, 1, 10, and 9. Baby Rider's got to be a great chance. I've got to respect the, the real strong support there. But, you know, uh, looks he's it's got the form there and beat at home last time out. There's much better odds. But, uh, look, sticking with Naval College at the 310, happy to go that way. That move, Brad says, for Baby Rider. 5.50 into 3.70 now. New low point uh, in the trade. Gator, you're with Naval College as well. Third up this prep. Yeah, look, uh, same case. Handy horse down in the weights. Actually meets Touristic a little better at the weights for beating him last time. And he's just on that upward trajectory, isn't he? Luntzies, I agree, is the danger. Touristic must have a case. And Baby Rider will give you a sight. So I'm 12, 1, 9, and 5. Baby Rider, Brad, mentioned just before, when we referenced that market move, you're happy to be with Luntzies over it. The thoughts behind the move, perhaps, maybe just finding the front here at Rose Hill? Yeah, potentially. Um, Zach Lloyd, we know he's a... A very aggressive rider, got the low gate there, potentially playing the, the map here. But yeah, I mean, not normally one they they really firm so much when you've got that, that form reference uh, from last time out to sort of show for when Luntzies got past him. So uh, look, it's one I'm a little bit surprised by, but one thing I know is those late moves, they're, uh, they're, they're not one thing to really be questioned too much. So you've got to really respect it. And some handy form. Did the job there, second up Naval College. Some handy form last preparation though, Brad, around the likes of Faulkner Park, Miracle Spin. Yeah, it looks nice form, doesn't it? Obviously, Miracle Spin would go around there in uh, in Melbourne today. So, uh, but look, he was good there second up. His first up run over an unsuitable trip was good and hits this race at the right time. He did get the, the great run last time, but he'd probably get a similar run here as well. So, deserving favourite, but no surprise to see him a little bit easy. I did think the sort of 250 on offer was a little bit too short early on. Starting the Sydney Quaddy today, race number seven with Darren. Well, as well. He's a nine year old now, Riazan. Did his early racing in Ireland and then Hong Kong. Riazan, been about two and a half years since the last success. Okay, real double up with the colours with multiple runners here. Runners are moving in with the OTI. We've got Baby Rider in the white cap, Riga Lion the blue. And the High Clare, Great House, Blue Cap. Favourite Naval College for the white. And we've got a double up of the colours, Lord Ardmore, Ottera. Lord Ardmore, White Cap, Ottera, the Blue. OK, waiting on the last couple to, to move in here. Concealed start at the 2,000 metre mark. Right, they're off and racing. Off here, and a baby rider in the white cap bounded out of the gates in front. Naval College is straight there into second, and Riazan and the Orange is striding to third out deep. Dark Destroyer is very wide on the course. Luntzies plonks in a handy spot on the rails. On the inside of Regal Line and Torrens out deep, further back to Rebel Rama. Then came Ottera back in the field with the blue cap on the inside of Touristic, and Great House is settling well back in the field on the outside of Lord Ardmore. So, baby rider has been 
well back today. Lead to the 1400 metres by two lengths on Riazan and the favourite Naval College third, the rails. A length and a half then to Dark Destroyer on the inside at Torrens as they work down the back of the course. A length and a half to Lunzi, followed then by Regal Line there in the blue cap. Two lengths away to Rebel Rama, Touristic a half the outside and they're followed well back in the field then to Watara who's third last at this point from Great House and Lord Ardmore sees them all. So Baby Rider at a good gallop preparing to leave the back straight a length and a half in front of Riazan into a clear second, Naval College third, followed by Dark Destroyer and Torrens having no luck today on a three wide path. Then the great Luntzies buried down on the rails further back to Regal Lion. Touristic being revved up a long way out. Uh, Rebel Rama stoked up and taking a shorter path towards the rails. So up front they're really up the ante now it's Baby Rider really pushed out from Riazan who sticks with it. Two lengths to Naval College and a gap back to Luntzies. Into the straight now Baby Rider. Riazan being cuddled on the outside and Riazan moved up to head off Baby Rider. Naval College the favourite laying it down to Riazan now and quickly Naval College taken to the front by a half length on Riazan. They're well clear from the rest but Naval College is ripping away with the January Cup going back to back in the hands of Jet Stanley and Naval Naval College went by a good space from a brave Riazan and Lord Ardmore making up many, many lengths to finish third. A gap back to Luntzi's every hope. Then came Torrens. Baby Rider was the first to surrender. Further back then to Watara from Rebel Rama, Great House, Dark Destroyer, Touristic drop right out. And uh, last of all in was Regal Lion. Cordy at Rise Hill starts with a big win, Brad, Naval College. Yeah, beautiful run, wasn't it? He just got that perfect trail on the two up front. The rest seemed to, to get a long way back, and he looked the winner from the 400 and absolutely bolted in a, a stay going places. Riazan, surprised they didn't back him. He ran really well and was clear second second there. Uh, Lord Ardmore, real eye catcher as well. He can do that, this horse, but Naval College, far too good. Would have been happy in run, Gator. Yeah, it was um, no need for the elevated heart rate again, was there? He's a nice little horse, this. Really good second-level stayer and um, dominant.